Hey everyone, so Kazuha is coming up as well as the 1.7 characters Yoimiya and Ayaka so I wanted to talk about them and give my opinions on which one you should summon. Hope you enjoy. So first up we have Kazuha, the best boy. Now he's looking to be one of the coolest looking supports, offering one of the flashiest elemental bursts that we've seen so far and man am I excited. So let's go over some reasons why you should summon him over the other two. Firstly, he's a support, which as I've mentioned in the past, support characters often last a lot longer than other characters in the sense that DPS come and go and usually, like most other gacha games, will be power crept on, whereas because supports are often, you know, usually useful because of their abilities, not their sort of actual stats, kind of like Venti, who you know is mainly still relevant because of his burst and also his element, I'd say. Whereas people like Childe, for example, aren't really seen that much now. That's not to say he's not good, just that we have characters like Ganyu and Hu Tao now. So that is one sort of positive for Kazuha. As well, we don't know too much about the other two, we can definitely make some educated guesses. And in the case of Ayaka, I know that she's been in the game for quite some time. And there's a reason why there have been people saving their primo gems for her that finally got their prayers answered. But yeah, also I know at least back then she was a damage dealer more than a support. Same with Yoimiya, who from the little we've seen, she's looking to be a damage dealer as well. Now, of course, that's not the only reason we pull. Sometimes we pull because we just like the look or the aesthetic of the character. So let's compare all three, shall we? Now Kazuha is going for that samurai look with his outfit and it makes sense as he is from Inazuma which is going to be in Japanese inspired region like how Li Wei is Chinese inspired his abilities are also very very cool with his burst having him slowly unsheath his blade and then slashing the entire screen of enemies. Now Ayaka as I said has been one of the more hyped characters for a while now. Now she might have changed but I remember Back then, her burst had to get her fan out and send three sort of icy vortex thingies that rapidly attack enemies along the way. Now, Yoimiya is a pyro archer with, with some people saying she's going to be Amber 2.0. Hopefully not, because she looks amazing. The sort of animations she has on her normal attacks, or I think charge attacks rather, with the fireworks that light up next to her is really cool. And so, in terms of aesthetics, this is a lot more subjective, but I really like Yoimi and Kazuha. Next up, let's talk about the elements. So they all belong to different elements. First up, we have Kazuha, who's an Anemo character. So Anemo, along with Elemental Mastery, recently got a buff, probably for Kazuha, and now does a lot better, which is very good. Now, also, Anemo is a very flexible element. You can pretty much put in a Nemo support in any of your teams and do decently well. Now of course Kazuha doesn't have to be played as a support, he can be played as a main DPS which should be interesting as the last Nemo DPS character we got was Xiao I think. Now that's also another good point, at least from what we've seen, Ayaka and Yoimiya don't really seem they can be played as any other role than just damage dealing or possibly sub DPS but we'll see. And then Ayaka is a cryo character, which cryo is definitely one of the stronger elements right now, having two really good reactions, freeze and melt, which are some of the best reactions right now. And a lot of the top comps, top team comps, are usually running at least one of these. Next, we have Yoimiya, who's going to be a pyro archer, which like cryo has some of the best reactions like melt and vaporize and unless something changes will continue to be one of the best elements for a while to come. So now the question is which fits your team better? For example did you summon for Eula or Ganyu then maybe it's better to get a non cryo character for example like Yoimi or Kazuha. Another big thing is do you have enough primo gems for the character or characters you want? I think I have about 14,000 primo gems so possibly get two characters if I'm lucky. So I gotta start hoping I get lucky with the 50-50. But anyways, who will you pull? They all have their pros and cons. Personally, I think I'm gonna go for Kazuha and Yoimiya and possibly Ayaka if I manage to have enough primo gems or if I feel like spending some money. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video 
And I wish you all the best with your summons. And I'll see you next time.